Y'all, this is to help you uh, access a Flipgrid at the house from home. And so what you're going to do is you're going to want to go to flipgrid.com. Um, oftentimes teachers will email you a link. And so honestly, you can just click on that link and be able to access the information. But if you need to, you can go to their webpage. Uh, you have a couple of places that you can enter what they call a flip code. And so you have, you can click right here. You can enter the flip code there. Typically, it's the last part of the uh, URL that they send or the website. And so it'll say flipgrid.com forward slash. And then the last part will be your flip code. So you can put that in there. Once you do that, it'll let you into um, the grid. Or you also can go over here and click this button. It'll do the same thing. Now, also, uh, teachers have the ability to send you a QR code. And so if they did send you a QR code, no big deal. You'll come over here to this uh, QR icon, click it. And then it's going to want you to scan. And now once it's done that, it's going to take you into the grid. And so the way this is set up is you've got your, um, this is the title of the grid. And inside the grid, there's going to be different topics. And so think of each topic as an assignment uh, your student is going to want to respond to. And so to be able to respond to it, you just click this green button to be able to record your response. Thanks, guys.